Hello Antique fans, this is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. It's been a little while since I have done an antique haul video for you. I've only done one so far this season which was at the first of the season and I know there are a lot of you that like to see the kinds of things that I get before they're cleaned up and processed. And so I thought I would do another antique haul video for you today so you can see some of the treasures that I have recently found. If you would like to see these pieces after they're cleaned up and processed, you might want to check my playlist of uh, new arrivals that go to my antique shop or my web page where you will see many of these items listed separately. If you have any questions or comments, they're always welcome. So please feel free to leave the comments in the, dis in the comment section below. You can check the description of this video for any links to where you can find me on the web. And of course, I will I appreciate always if you would consider to subscribing if you haven't already and leaving a thumbs up if you like the video and sharing it. It's always a help to all of us and an encouragement whenever you do those things. So without further ado, let me show you what I found. Okay, these are the things that I've got laid out here from my most recent haul that I've discovered and found. Really happy to have found this many pieces. Please excuse any buzz that you may hear. That comes from the fluorescent light that I've got on, and I really need to have it on in order to have enough light to show you these things. Okay, let's start in on this end. This is an interesting piece that I found, and it is from, let's see, it's got here on both sides, there's a, like a little brass insignia plate there that says, Hathaway Patterson. And this would have been a de this is an advertising piece, obviously, and it would have been probably a desk accessory that was maybe given out or used as a promotion. Um, and I could see it being used for paper clips or um, thumbtacks or you know just use your imagination. It's a great little wooden piece and early, probably 30s, 40s. That would be my guess. Back here, I found three early um, fishing reels, which are very popular and very collectible and under that a little ironstone oval plate. Ironstone does so well for me. I always pick those up when I can find them. <clears throat> this is an early tool that's used probably for cutting linoleum maybe or something like that. I don't usually do a lot with tools but whenever they're interesting like this I many times will pick them up. This is a little, uh, this is wood here, um, very flat, and so it fits in this little, it's a, a company uh, leather, well, kind of leatherette um, case, and it's probably a shoulder brush uh, to take with you, maybe traveling or something, and there's the early case that it's in. These are two little ball jars, I think. These are actually smaller than the half pint, or at least they appear to me that they are. They have ball on the front. And this one, well, let's see. This one has ball on the rounded dome style cap. Back here is an early bucket. It's got great character. Um, would go so beautifully in primitive settings. And I just love this uh, very well-worn, um, rustic look. Now, uh, and this piece is a heavy gauge steel. It's not flimsy at all, so it's really a cute piece. And then it must have been bucket day because I got another bucket. This is an old galvanized bucket, but this one has the wood uh, handle hold here on the bale. And these old buckets like this are so popular for a variety of things in garden settings and and even some people are using them for wedding decor for for things when they have like a country style wedding. And in the front here I've got laid out and I hope you can see these because I don't want to get them dirty. I got two very nice 
fringed edge damask tiles. This one on the top has a beautiful raised monogram. I hope you can see that. And the one below, it's got your pattern damask weave, but it does not have the monogram. And then under that is an, an early, I've got it folded up here, but it's kind of long. It's a table runner. And there's the back side. You can see the lovely early fabric there. And the gimp edging. And this is velvet, and then it's got tapestry like this on both ends. And I got three old wood spoons. I love the old rustic primitive look of early old spoons, and I do sell a lot of those. Here's a great little redware crock. It's just probably, I don't know, three inches tall. It's beautiful. Love this little piece. Great find. And I sell a lot of books, and I sell them for their decorative value probably as much as anything else. And this one's a late 1800s book, and it's got Suzette on it. It's a type of short stories or selected stories book. And it's got a cute little, I hope you can, that's focusing for you, that you see Suzette a novel there with the beautiful wildflowers. I got a, a couple up here of early eyeglasses. These are round with the wire wrap stems. Sell a lot of these early eyeglasses so I was happy to get those. Here in the front is a nice early pewter little handle a sip cup. Uh, it does say on the bottom, Pools Pewter, Taunton, Massachusetts, M-A-S-S, -S, earlier Mass Massachusetts um, abbreviation. Great early pewter piece, wonderful piece to add with primitives. Here's an old um, cast iron string holder. It's the top off of a string holder. It needs something for the base, but that shouldn't be a terribly hard thing to come up with that you could use and this this is a great old decorative piece with the dome shape like that. Here in the back I have an early dartboard and this one is made in England. It has the, I hope you can see, the beautiful tin edging. I'll turn it around here hopefully without crashing into everything and you can see that the what the back looks like. These pieces of course are are very popular and collected for their graphical displays that they put on your walls. Great for a game room or a man cave. Here's a nice early closed deck tin cookie cutter. I think this this is a strange look. I can't quite make out what it is, but I'm thinking it's some kind of a bird. Then I got a little metal button hook. This one would probably been used on uh, little shoes, baby shoes maybe, or things like that. Here's a nice little snap open leather coin purse with a little back flap and this of course will be all cleaned up before it's sold. I clean all of my things and process them before they're sold so don't worry about that. Here's here's an early or mid 19th century tin coffee canister and you can see the word coffee there and some of the toll that's left on the tin and this one has the hinge lid and these also are very popular primitive collectibles and I think that is it for this week and I'm very happy with what I found again now if you want to see some of these pieces all cleaned up you'll be wanting to check back to my new arrivals videos when they go up you'll see some of them as they're going into the shop if you're interested in any of these pieces However, uh, before they go to the shop or even afterwards, just message me. I can always transfer them to my online store where they can be purchased there. Please check the description of the video for where you can find Vintage Touch on the web. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.